Hello everyone. Welcome back to SFTC Panther. My name is Amit Singh. And uh, in this video, we are going to talk about another scenario related to Salesforce Flow Builder. So what we are going to do here is we are going to send an email alert with the help of our Salesforce record record flow. Here we are not going to use any kind of UI that we have done in the previous videos in order to send the email. What we are going to do is we are going to create an email alert. And that email alert we are going to use inside our flow builder. So, what is the scenario over here? We will send an email alert whenever an opportunity is created with the amount of more than $100K. And to whom we are going to send this email is? We are going to send this email alert to the account owner. So, whoever is the account owner for that particular opportunity, we are going to send the email alert to that particular user. So, how we are going to do is, we are going to create a trigger. Uh, we are going to create a record triggered flow, which will be after save flow. Now, here, why it is an after save flow? So, if you remember our previous uh, picture that we have used in order to identify which flow we need to use, there we talked about if we need to send an email, we will use after save flow, after trigger flow. Okay. So, what we will do is we will check for the condition where we will say that if amount is greater than 100k. Then we are going to send the email alert. If not, we are going to end our flow. And in both the case, after sending the email alert, we are going to end the flow. So this is what we are going to do over here. Now to do that, just uh, log into your Salesforce org. And the very first thing is that you have to create an email template. That email template might contain some information like, uh, uh, dear, whatever the account owner or the owner is. And you can say that account the opportunity has been created or high value opportunity has been created. So just to show you that I have already created the template, and I will be using the same template in our email alert. So this is the template, okay? So if you see here, I have created an HTML template where I'm just uh, putting opportunity owner full name and saying that uh, a high value opportunity has been created, and these are the details. So basically, this is a simple email template which I have created. Nothing fancy, uh, nothing rocket science related to the template. And this template I'm going to use inside our email alert. So to create the email alert from the quick search box, just search for email, and you can find uh, even instead of email, if you don't find what you can search for is email alert. So once you search for that email alert, you will see under process automation workflow actions, email alert is something which we are going to use. Now there are some uh, email alerts which are basically part of some minus package. We are going to create a new one. So just go ahead and clear, uh, create our new email alert. And I'm going to give the name as high volume opportunities. Okay. Uh, what object I need to use? I have to create an object which is opportunity. So I'll select that object. Which email template we need to use? So we need to use email template that I have created. Uh, you also might have, like you must need to create. You can use any existing email template as well. Now to whom we need to send? We need to send to the account owner. So just click on that, uh, like this, uh, select this drop down and then select account owner. And from available recipients to selected recipient, we need to put that account owner. Go ahead and save this. So just a simple email alert that we have created over here. Next thing we have to create a flow. So just go ahead, search for flows under this quick search box. And then select flows under process automation and click on new flow. We have already discussed which flow we are going to create over here. So we will select record triggered flow. Now which object is it is opportunity. So we will select opportunity. A record is created. Condition we will put and and here what we are going to put is we are going to check if amount is not equal to null. That's what we are going to put over here. The if condition we are going to put under that particular uh, what we have got. Okay, so it is a number field. So instead of saying that not equal to null, we can say is null is false. Okay, that's what we are going to put. Optimize the flow for actions and related records because we are going to in call an action which is email alert just click on done you have just configured the start element of your flow click on this plus and here you are going to put a decision you will say that check if uh, amount is greater than 100k even you can use that decision on the start element as well but i'm just wanted to show like 
how you can use the decision. So that's what uh, this is the label, and we have to put conditions. So we will use outcome label. So we are going to put that amount is greater than dollar hundred k. What condition we put? We will use record dot amount. This is something we have. We have to use amount. What value we will say? Greater than greater than or equal instead of greater than let's use greater than or equal and we will say 100k that's what value we need and click on done now we have got two paths the default path we are not going to work anything so just click on plus and select end for amount is greater than what you need to do is click on plus and select action now here under action what you need to do is you need to search for your email alert which you have created which is high volume opportunities so we just need to give the label the api name will auto populate it and one only one and one thing we need to pass is record id so we'll say that record dot id that's it click on done so this is a very simple flow a record triggered flow go ahead and click on save we have to use send email alert for high volume opportunities as a label you can use anything and we'll go ahead and click on save if you want to debug you can debug it otherwise you can just go ahead and activate this so we are not going to debug over here just activate this get back to any opportunity so this is one opportunity i have already opened and if you see amount is greater than 100k which says that 675k i will go ahead i don't uh, yeah we have to go ahead and click on clone and here i'm going to put just one or say that renewal okay i'm just creating one renewal opportunities rest everything is same i'll just go ahead and click on save so now what will happen who is the account owner we will find out Let, uh, even i'm the owner because i am the only user in the org so whatever the email that i have under this user i will receive that email so i have just opened here you can see this is an opportunity name renewal up to here a high volume opportunity created and this is the user like owner whoever the owner is a high volume opportunity has been created and these are all the details related to opportunity so very simple flow there could be some other huge case where you wanted to create email alert and wanted to send all these details and uh, every single thing even if you include images you include some other formatted every single thing will be there and you don't need to write anything over here in the flow so this is it for this video thank you for your time and please do like share subscribe the channel also if you have any scenario uh, please do share with us or to the email which is there on under the description of the video thank you